What's happening guys? Welcome to Archie H Tech TV and today let's compare Asus Max Pro M1 and Oppo Realme 1 on the lines of design and build, gaming performance, uh, display quality, camera quality, battery performance and sound quality. Make sure to watch this video till the end and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also guys complete list of specification and buying links are given in the description box below. Kindly check them out as well. Alright guys, now firstly looking at design and build, Asus Max Pro M1 has metal back panel with plastic edges and Realme 1 on the other hand has glass back panel with plastic edges. Now coming to in-hand feel, Asus Max Pro M1 feels slightly slippery due to curved edges whereas Realme 1 in spite of having glass back panel is comfortable to hold. But one negative side of having a glass back panel is the fact that it attracts a lot of fingerprints. Uh, to reduce that you can use a case or cover uh, which by the way is freely provided by Oppo in the box uh, which not only reduces fingerprints but also protects display and phone by and large. On the other hand Asus does not include any case or cover in the box. Now one very important thing guys if you have noticed Realme 1 does not have fingerprint sensor uh, but the good thing is it has face unlock which is very fast and accurate and it works perfectly fine in daylight and low light. Trust me you literally not miss having a fingerprint sensor. On the other hand Asus Max Pro M1 has a fingerprint sensor uh, placed on the rear side and also comes with face unlock but to be honest guys uh, it has half a second of delay uh, be it a fingerprint sensor or face unlock and I believe this should be improved through software update. Next up guys looking at display Max Pro M1 has 5.99 inch Full HD Plus panel and Realme 1 has 6 inch Full HD Plus panel. Both come with 18 to 9 aspect ratio and both also have very good viewing angles. Now looking at colors Asus has slightly warmer tint while Realme 1 has cooler colors. Both can get pretty bright outdoors but Realme 1 can get very dim comparatively in indoors which is considered to be good for reading in low light. Now frankly speaking guys both displays are pretty good uh, for the price. Next up guys speaking about performance Realme 1 comes with Helio P60 processor which is a 12 nanometer processor coupled with Mali G72 MP3 GPU and Asus Max Pro M1 comes with a very famous Snapdragon 636 coupled with Adreno 509 GPU. In terms of day to day usage both perform pretty good. You shouldn't notice much difference between the two and both also have very good heat management capabilities. But when it comes to playing heavy games uh, like Modern Combat 5, I did notice occasional frame drops on Realme 1 whereas Asus Max Pro M1 could handle it very smoothly without any issues. The games are definitely playable on Realme 1 but Asus Max Pro M1 according to my testing has slight edge in terms of heavy gaming. Now when it comes to battery life, Max Pro M1 has 5000 mAh battery and Realme 1 has 3410 mAh battery but in real time usage there is not much difference both can last you little over a day both are good for one full working day uh, Asus Max Pro M1 in spite of having a bigger capacity battery has a lot of idle drain and definitely needs some improvement for best battery life under 15k you can go with Redmi Note 5 Pro Next up guys looking at cameras Asus Max Pro M1 comes with 13 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual camera setup on the rear side and Realme 1 has 13 megapixel single camera on the rear side and both have 8 megapixel front facing cameras. Now speaking about the quality, portrait mode is best implemented on Asus Max Pro M1. Uh, images look refined with good edge detection uh, whereas on Realme 1 edge detection needs improvement. A bokeh effect looks artificial and there is no clear cut demarcation uh, between the subject and background. Apart from that guys in normal mode colors and exposure handling I felt were slightly better on Realme 1. Uh, HDR pictures were better on Asus Max Pro M1 highlighting shadows and details. Uh, focusing was good on both. Both produced decent bokeh effect in normal mode. In front facing camera Realme 1 did a better job. Images were bright, they were sharp and colors were also accurate. But again in front facing portrait mode Asus Max Pro M1 had better edge detection. So guys to sum up both had decent cameras for the price but portrait mode was better on Asus Max Pro M1 uh, be it rear facing camera or front facing camera and in general selfies came out to be good on Realme 1. Now guys speaking about the sound quality Asus Max Pro M1 was slightly louder and had better bass quality. Uh, now the same thing translates to headphone output as well. Not only that but Asus Max Pro M1 also comes with Max Box which should enhance the sound to a certain extent and uh, you can also use it as a phone holder or phone stand. Quickly guys before the conclusion here's the sound sample. Don't ever forget you're golden I will find the light in your 
Alright guys, now to conclude, if you want better performance, good sound quality, metal build, decent display, better portrait mode with decent camera, and if you can compromise little on front facing camera, then you can go with Asus Max Pro M1. On the other hand, if you want good selfie camera, fiberglass build, good display, lot of software features, and if you can compromise slightly on performance and sound quality, then you can go with Realme 1. So that's it guys, if you feel this video was informative, Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, follow us on Twitter at RTH Tech TV, subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.